on to some CEDA, CEDA extensions. Here you want to get the most out of all of these. These are like the detail. These are like the, the butter for everything that you're doing on the front of the quads. You want to get that line, that detail into the quads. These are what you actually do. So I said it's all about, it's not about the motion. It's not about going to the motion of the workout. You want to get, get the most out of these. They actually want to ensure that it's squeezing at the top of each movement and you want to control the weight when it's, when it's coming back down so don't just go for the end be swinging up and down and hey this is a heavy weight and you say oh this is much you can squeeze you should be feeling the full tension and the full squeeze each time everything correct you should be feeling that quad exploding and quad tightening up something you're going to be feeling near to your groin that's as i said that's a good feeling that show you that the cost is going to be deeper, the cost is going to be higher. Okay, get to work. Follow up. Follow-up exercise is some narrow leg press. Yeah, I normally would use the, the machine, the old school machine in doing this, but you know, it's all about what's available then and there. <coughs> Three sets. I think three sets of that. Went down to do some wide, wide leg, like presses, focusing on the hamstrings and the glutes. Here you want to place the heels as high as possible on the pad. Each time you come down, you want to feel the tension, you want to feel that, that stretch in the hamstring. It's always focus on form. Focus on the group that you're working, put all that interest, in, put all that mind connection into the muscle that you're working. That's what you're here for. Always target, target what you're doing. Don't be doing hamstrings and be working quads. Squats. This is another great exercise. I think you know this overall build. This can overall build definition also massing your legs. I've been using it. I think like the last couple months and it's been working good for me. I don't go super heavy because I still try to stick to form and I still try to stick to getting the best out of this exercise. So here again I'm doing rep of 10 I did four sets and these started off with 445 and wrap away up. Second to last exercise, front squats. A lot of people don't like front squats. I used to do a lot of front squats. I'm not really, haven't done too much of it. A lot of people find that they put a lot of strain on their back. You know, some people do it the Olympic way. I can't do it that way because of 
harms is because if harms don't go down the back. So this has always been the way I've done it since I started electing. Doing the X X frame and having it sitting on the dials. That's what I've always done and it's worked for me. I don't go, as I said, most of it done on the power like I think like 325. But that's not a good thing. So again I say focusing on form, focusing on stretching, focusing on targeting that muscle by itself. I'm taking this we wanna take all that that weight off the the cords and shift it to the hamstring. So I find going below parallel actually does that. So let's go, let's go. Well guys, thanks for watching. Uh, I will see if you have any questions about anything, let me know. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me you what exercise or what you know what workout you would like to see me perform, what what questions you have about a specific workout that you I need to address. I think next I'm gonna be talking about like the basic supplements that a person should have if you're trying to build muscle or build mass and you're trying to go the natural path. So yeah, let me know.